Russia destroys nearly all Ukraine's thermal generation nuclear power plants at risk. Russia has destroyed almost all of Ukraine's thermal power generation. A threat to Ukrainian nuclear power plants is not ruled out, according to the Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky, during a special meeting of the European Council. Russia has already destroyed almost all of our thermal power generation. Dams and equipment of hydroelectric power plants, as well as gas infrastructure, are under terrorist attacks, he said. Zelensky stresses that the Russian invaders do not give up radiation blackmail and continue to play savagely with the safety of the occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The head of state does not rule out that other Ukrainian nuclear power plants could also be under threat. We do not rule out that the infrastructure of our other nuclear power plants and distribution networks are also under threat from Russian terror, the president emphasizes. After a long pause, Russian troops have resumed shelling Ukraine's energy sector. Russians are attacking Ukrainian substations and thermal power generation. For example, the Zemiv thermal power plant in the Kharkiv region was seriously damaged. On April the 11th, the Tripilia thermal power plant in Kiev region was also destroyed. In addition, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine warned that Russians are preparing false flag provocations at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Russia is the only terrorist in the world holding a nuclear power plant hostage and using it to blackmail Ukraine and the entire world. No one else but Russian terrorists has brought the world so close to the brink of a deliberate radiation catastrophe. These are deliberate Russian actions, continuing the Russian practice of blackmailing our state and the entire international community with the risk of a catastrophe at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Ukraine has always taken and continues to take a responsible approach to the safety of nuclear facilities, the general staff stated. This is Europe's largest nuclear power plant, which was occupied at the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russia may transfer fighter jets and air defense equipment to Iran. Russia is considering providing Iran with modern fighter jets and air defense equipment to protect it from Israeli and U.S. attacks. Military cooperation between Moscow and Tehran has reached a new level, reports the Washington Post. According to the data, Iran has opened a new dangerous chapter in its relations with Russia by agreeing to supply thousands of combat drones and missiles in 2022 to help Moscow in its war against Ukraine. The expanded ties helped cement deals between Moscow and Tehran, including Russia's promise to provide its ally with modern fighter jets and air defense technology that could help Tehran bolster its defenses against any future Israeli or U.S. airstrike. It is unclear how many systems have been delivered and deployed, but the Russian technology could turn Iran into a much more formidable adversary with enhanced capabilities to shoot down aircraft and missiles, officials and experts say. The arms deals, some of the details of which have not been previously disclosed, are part of a broader cooperation that includes joint production of military drones in Russia, sharing of jamming technology, and real-time assessments of weapons deployed against NATO and in Ukraine, intelligence officials and arms experts said. According to them, this cooperation brings significant benefits to both countries while elevating Iran's status from a junior ally to a strategic partner. Intelligence officials said that Russia is pushing forward with secretly concluded deals to supply Iran with Su-35, one of Russia's most powerful fighter bombers. On the defense side, Iran has long been asking Russia for the latest anti-aircraft missile batteries to protect its nuclear and military facilities from a possible US or Israeli attack. In 2007, Tehran signed a deal to buy the Russian S-300 anti-aircraft system, but Moscow postponed the delivery of the weapon due to pressure from the United States and European states. The voluntary ban ended in 2016 and Iranian S-300s became operational in 2019. Since then, Iran has sought to acquire the more powerful Russian S-400 system, although it is not publicly known whether Moscow has taken steps to supply S-400 batteries. Some S-400 variants are equipped with radars capable of countering stealth technologies used by modern military aircraft. 
According to intelligence officials, Moscow also benefits from this cooperation. In addition to the thousands of drones purchased from Iran, late last year, Russia agreed to buy about $2 billion worth of additional military goods, including anti-drone defense systems, which have become a top priority for Russian generals in Ukraine.